we, we could talk for three and a half hours in terms of the stories this week, but we're getting into, I guess, that season. You know, Donald Trump is is back. Thank I don't know if he God. ever left, but he's back. And let's just start with this, this CNN town hall. Yeah. It is supposedly, there is a lot of internal strife at CNN about this. Um, here's Anderson Cooper explaining why we needed to have the town hall that we saw. Many of you have expressed deep anger and disappointment. Holy shit. Holy shit. Ryan. Good spot, Ryan. Good spot. Hang on. Let me see if I can... Autumn. Autumn is a mod in Sam Cedar's chat. Holy shit. For those of you who don't know, Autumn is a socialist that came and hung out on on my channel for Socialism Saturday, and we all had a nice conversation with Autumn, and we thought Autumn was nice, and, you know, we obviously think Autumn is crazy because she's a socialist, so we don't agree with her, but we, we had a nice enough exchange, and then Autumn went and lied to was it was it Midwest Marks or was it Red May? It was either Midwest Marks or, or or Red May. Autumn went and lied about us and said we were gonna raid someone's channel when we weren't gonna raid someone's channel because I would never say that. And then I basically called Autumn out and I called her dishonorable because we had been perfectly nice to her, had a perfectly good relationship. And now we see that Autumn Leaves is a mod in Sam Cedar's chat. It was on Midwestern Marks. You guys are probably right. Wow. Autumn, we see you. Man, many of you are upset that someone who attempted to destroy Watch our democracy guys, was invited to sit on a stage in front of a crowd of Republican voters to answer questions and predictably continued to spew lie after lie after lie. Autumn, and if you're watching, I get it. tell Sam it he's not disturbing. funny anymore. It was disturbing to see and hear that person refer to a black law enforcement officer as a thug an adjective he used many times to describe black men, and called Caitlin Collins, the moderator, nasty, which is what he calls any woman who stands up to him. It was disturbing to hear him speak so highly of QAnon conspirators and insurrectionists who assaulted police officers in our democracy on January 6th. And it was awful to hear him spread ridiculous lies about the election. And it was certainly disturbing to hear that audience, young and old, our fellow citizens, people who love their kids and go to church, laugh and applaud his lies, and his continued defamation of a woman who, according to a jury of his peers, he sexually abused and defamed. As good a job as Galen Collins did trying to fact check him, it mm. is impossible to fact check fully because he lies so shamelessly. Now, many of you think CNN shouldn't have given him any platform to speak, and I understand the anger about that. Giving him the audience, the time, I get that. But this Not is what I also Ryan. get. The man you were so disturbed to see and hear from last night, that man is the front runner for the Republican nomination for president. Yes, he is. And according He'll to polling, no it. other Republican is even close. That man you were so upset to hear from last night, he may be president of the United States in less than two years. God, wouldn't that be And fun that audience, great. that 